Welcome to the following presentation of Minor League Esports on the MLE Network. That there are the, the game. This match is on a timer. It doesn't have a one goal thing. All right, we can. All right. Wait, you say we're on? We're on? We're live? Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> we're live, guys. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> what a great intro here for minor league esports presented by APM Music. My name is Chaser. With me, ICB. We're going to be going to some Master League to start our evening. It's going to be the Spectre going up against the Rhinos. What a match we have in store for us. Absolutely strong start. I am I am very excited to see this match. I have some friends who play on the Spectre. I have some friends who play on the Rhinos. Uh, they are one game apart in the standings right now. Uh, fourth and fifth in seed at the moment. And whoever wins here, if I remember correctly, will go off to face the Dodgers and the quarterfinals as well. Oh, I, who do you think is going to win overall on here? I, I have my feelings, but I want to hear yours first. Oh, you're going to put me on the spot. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say, I think the Spectre are going to come out on top of this one. I know a couple of the players on that team, Maniac and Kunix, they've played very well in past seasons. So I would suspect that they're going to be very, very good this game as well. So I'm going to say the Spectre move on through the plans. All right, Spectre. That's actually how I'm feeling as well. But I think it's, I watched uh, a few ML matches over the weekend, and I really feel like it's going to be a very tight knit match. I think it's going to be Spectre and five, though. I think Rhino's going to give them uh, just a fighting just brawling them out every step of the way. They currently have on the field with them right now, Minotaur, uh, Minotaur Jake, and Alpha Omega 17, all of which who are their top performers in various ways, 17 salaries and Minotaur, uh, Minotaur specifically and Jake specifically, uh, being extremely strong defensively and offensively. And then over on the Spectre side, we have Kunix, Biscuit, and Maniac. Biscuit, of course, being a former demo player, so I know exactly how he plays, and he is terrifying out in the field. And then, of course, we know about Kunix. Um, do you think Kunix is going to get an own goal this game? Uh, let's see. What do you think the odds are on that one? Well, what does Vegas say on uh, on own goal from Kunix? What do you think? Uh, I'm thinking yes. <laughs> I <One>. yeah, <laughs> at least one because we need another Boonix. We need another like. Uh, how we used to have like the messages at the bottom of Amelia and Emilio say <laughs> hyping Kunix up and then he own goals and gets called Boonix. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. I I think that we're going to see one, but you know, nonetheless, I think this is going to be a very good, uh, very good series. Like you said, you think it's going to go to five games. You know, you kind of saying that also brings up the point that, hey, no more series of five, no more MLE mm -hmm. series of five. It is a best of five. So it is the first team to win their first three games. The team that wins the first, their three first is going to advance to the next round of the playoffs. So, you know, no more, oh, well, we've lost three. We can kind of get back. No, 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 no. You lose three, you're done. So it, a lot of pressure on these teams. And I said, I kind of said this last night in, in the first match of the evening. You know, once you get to playoff Rocket League in MLE, everything changes because you're not having to worry about play counts and you know eligibility or anything like that no it's it's your best guys against my best guys or my your best team against my best team and that's exactly what we're going to see here in this first match of the evening mm -hmm. and i'm also looking at chat right now i see some people calling spectrum four my favorite call out right now is rhinos will win game five will be an ot where the spectrum will own goal and if that's the case oh, please no. <laughs> please screenshot that and we will capture a clip of that so I can overlay it and send it to uh, the Spectre when the game's over. 
Oh, imagine if it's imagine if it's Kunix that gets the own goal too. But oh man, ICB, I think we're ready for our first game of this series. Here we go. Five minutes on the clock. Let's get it going with some playoff Rocket League. Now we got the Rhinos taking control here. Jake with a smart touch over to the side, passing over to Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega keeps it in the corner. Mini uh, mini turn sends it off, and Kunix now has possession here. It gets challenged by Jake, putting it off towards the net. Net, but Maniac sends it right back. C ball coming up off the backboard as Biscuit sends it over to Maniac. Over to Kunix. Only one defender back right now. Ball's coming off the backboard. There's a shot opportunity. A little bit too high as Biscuit sends it right off the backboard. But Maniac tries to put it back in. And Jake sends it away safely. Intense 30 seconds there. <laughs> yeah, very intense. And a couple of good opportunities either way. We're going to see the Spectre going back the other way now. No, good challenge coming in actually from the rhinos there's another good opportunity for them they're going to play it right back into the offensive zone trying to find the mark offensively ball on the back wall is going to be taken away by maniac a good challenge coming in from jake is going to you know not really allow any kind of a shot to be coming through but it does keep that pressure on the specter they're coming back the other way that one onto the post follow-up shot is actually going to be saved by jake as well Jake with that just perfect positioning, great timing there to get that save and boom it away and forcing the Spectre to try to reevaluate how they're going to set this up again. Balls towards the center. Jake and Kunix going for the 50 there. Alpha gets it up the field and is waiting for a nice patient touch, but Biscuit sends it towards the net. A little bit off target, but maybe that's the play they need as Maniac almost gets a shot on target with Jake getting a savior. Not even halfway through the match. Three saves on his stat block right now. Mini heading it up the field. Passing it off to Jake. Looks for a demo. Biscuit gets it away. Alpha sends it away up towards the field as Maniac tries to put it back on target. Mini sends it back over, booming it out. Trying to get a good offensive push here between the Rhinos and the Spectre right now, just feeling each other out. But a lot of booming clears at the moment. And as I say that, Maniac tries to take it to ground but gets 50 by the Rhinos. And trying to get that control for the Spectre, but actually they do still had possession for the moment. Minator is going to have that one as well. Is they're going to have another good clear back to the midfield line. Kunik's going to play it back into the left corner. They have the possession, trying to pass that one center, but it is going to be shut down by the Rhinos. Big clear coming out. A second touch off of the ceiling as well. Maniac having to make a last ditch effort to clear that one away from any kind of attack from the Rhinos. And now... They're kind of finding themselves back into the defensive half for the Spectre. Kunix taking it up the corner right now. Gets a 50 and kills it with Alf at the moment. Jake gets another 50, sends it right back towards the backboard. Right off into the corner as Maniac gets it around Minotaur and sends it up the field. Jake getting a tight touch. Leaves the ball alone. Kunix is there. Jake tries to beat him to it, but Kunix sends it down below. Trying to set up a passing play here as Biscuit gets a light touch. Mini sends it right back. Maniac might have a shot opportunity, just barely off target as it bounces off the post. Sending it up the field once again. Kunix has a chance here. Tries to get it around. That ball's going to be right in front of the net. And Maniac is not able to get that shot as Jake sends it away. Yeah, and Biscuit followed it up as well, trying to keep that pressure for the Spectre. The Rhinos getting that clear that they needed. Jake tried to find that redirect as well. Alpha Mega is going to have that ball in that corner. Good pass. Good infield pass from Kunix. Maniac's going to put it to the backboard. Kunix is there to receive. Shot. Shut down by the defense of the Rhinos. Alpha Mega able to keep that one out for now. Now here come the Spectre again. Maniac with a shot on. Saved again by Jake. Follow up from Kunix. Keeps it in the offensive zone for the Spectre. Maniac off the backboard. Up goes Biscuit. Can they make it? No. It's going to get cleared away by the Rhinos here once again. A close shot from uh, Alf, yes, who, and Maniac with that amazing save. Rhino's finally getting an offensive push here, but the Spectre immediately turned it away as Maniac gets up in the air for the ball, gets it towards middle. Biscuit making me proud with that demo there, but Jake sends it right back, a little off target, but Alf could get that shot. No, Maniac gets a save. And we have Minitar, Minitar up in the air right now. Jake trying to get a setup shot, trying to pass it out to Alf, Balls towards the net, barely off target as Maniac puts it back in the corner. It's taking control, sends it up the field. Kunix, Spectre now on their back foot as Rhinos have the initiative here. 
trying to keep the pressure on. And the ball's going to go off the backboard. This might be the first shot of the game. Biscuit gets a goal. Yeah, and that's going to be a very good play here. The mistake on the backboard from Minator. Cannot find the contact across their back line. And Biscuit capitalizes with the double tap off the side there. And that is going to be the first goal late here. Now a kickoff goal going to be needed for the Rhinos. Koenigs needs to just, they just need to take control of the ball here as Alf puts the ball all the way out towards the backboard. Maybe he sends it right back to the corner, tries to keep it towards the center. Needs to just keep the ball on the ground, but maybe they can get one more goal here. Ball's on the ground and game one goes to the Spectre. Yeah, they definitely didn't need to do much else there late in the game, but they get that goal with 14 seconds left on the clock, and that's the game winner coming through from Biscuit. So it really it came down to just one mistake coming from the Rhinos' defense. They played very well defensively with Jake getting four saves, Minator and Alpha Omega each getting one as well. You know, the Spectre having nine shots as, as well. That, a lot of offensive pressure coming through from them, but the Rhinos were standing tall to the task late until that one mistake. And shout out to Koenigs as well, just trying to set up the team and try to get an alley open for that shot. I think as strong as a defensive formation that the Rhinos were able to hold for so long, that tempo, that pressure from the Spectre was just too much. And eventually they just got worn down too quickly, especially in game one. But that one, that constant pressure wore them down enough to where uh, uh, Biscuit could get that goal off of mini talk miniature and yeah rhinos just need to tighten up and they need to bring that pressure right back to the specter need to keep throwing the ball at them in the same way they had so many shots put on them yeah that's that's good what they're gonna have to do here going into game two as we go to neo tokyo for our next match of this series with the specter being up a game they have the advantage will they keep it after game two kickoff is here and it's gonna be the rhinos with the first possession Biscuit up on the wall right now. Koenig sends it right back towards the center. Tries to set up Biscuit for a play. Ball's popped up. Jake sends it right down the center. Koenig sends it right on back. Maniac looking for a shot. Tries to put it low, but gets sent away by Jake, I believe. Spectre are able to take control again. The Rhinos are trying to fix their rotation a little bit, trying something a little bit different, and definitely keeping that ball up in the air more. Uh, Mini just sends it off to the side. Koenig's what Tries to put pass. the shot on target. What a great pass. That was a very great pass indeed. And that's going to give the opening goal of game two to the Spectre. Kunix and, and uh, Maniac, those two, they wreak havoc here once again in the beginning stages of this second game. So seeing the Spectre back out in the lead here with 420 on the clock. It's going to be a hit towards the net. Shot could be had. No, the demo instead by Biscuit. A very good demolition there from the Spectre. Here comes Maniac trying to get that past one. They do get it past Alpha Omega. Off the sidewall. Ball down in front. Maniac can't reach it, though. It looks like that was another good shot attempt waiting to be had. They cannot find the mark this time. Biscuit already in a defensive position there. Tries to get a 50. Gets it a little bit of awkward. Koenig jumping up in the air to get that save. One thing I really want to shout out, too, is Maniac is... Absolutely a maniac out in the field. Top goals on the team, top saves, highest MVPR. And for every three games, he wins two of them. So he is a difference maker out in the field. As Koenig passes that ball down to Biscuit, almost gets a shot on target, but Jake sends it away before he even counts as a save. Jake pops it up. That ball is almost there, but gets saved by the Spectre. Biscuit tries to keep control, gets met in the air by the Rhinos as Koenig's has the ball to himself, loses possession as Jake sends it away. Biscuit booms it out towards the corner. He's trying to keep the pressure. Demos mini Minitur again. Koenig's getting a pass ready for Maniac there. Not a lot of not a lot of rhinos in front of that get goal there for a second. Biscuit puts it right on back, a little bit too high. Maybe one of the Spectres can send it right on back and set up for another passing play. But no, rhinos send it right up the field immediately. Big clear from Alpha Omega. That's going to be a shot attempt coming in as well as Kunix is going to get that save. Coming back the other way, though, the Spectre having an opportunity. Biscuit can't find the mark. This one's going to be rolling towards the net. It's just wide. Trying to find that dunk as well. But Maniac and Kunix are going to tag team that ball back down to the Rhinos half. 
Kunix is there, trying to facilitate once again. Not going to find a pass. Trying to look for a bump instead. The two-on-one opportunity, the outlet, the shot can be had as well. But no, again stopped out by the Spectre defense. And they are doing a very good job of rotating back when they don't have possession of the ball. Yeah, just look how perfect that rotation is. Biscuit's already in position, and Maniac is getting ready. Maniac get, jumping up with Kunix and sending that ball back into the corner. Great positioning, great save from Maniac, but the ball just not cleared far enough as Jake takes advantage of the laps and rotation. As soon as I compliment it, no one's around in that moment. That's yeah, a bad rebound coming out in front for the Spectre, and the Rhinos are able to capitalize the first time they have scored so far this series. But that's not saying very much when we've only had three goals in the two games that we've played so far. So it's going to be a tough road here still for both of these teams. A great bump. Shots just wide. Forced wide by the defense of the Rhinos as that one slams off the post and away. At the, the level of math and geometry that we saw from many miniature's uh brain in that moment just sending it right off the post and booming it away must have made the specter feel so excited so excited like ready to get another shot on and just seeing it lost immediately afterward such a shame for them but a great defensive pressure it's Kunix gets a demo on alpha omega biscuits up in the air tries to put a shot on jake gets a touch and sends it away biscuit sends it bumping every defender out of the way as maniac takes the pass from Kunix and puts it back in the net yeah, Kunix has been a really good playmaker for the Spectre squad. And again, just passing the ball right to their teammate, Maniac. Maniac's able to capitalize on that passing play and score, giving the lead back to the Spectre here. Not quite as late in the game as last game, but Biscuit's going to try to set that one up for their team again. Maniac going to have to catch that one. Good challenge, though, from the Rhinos. Big clear from Biscuit. Maniac is in the air trying to make a 50 happen to go in favor for the Spectre. Now one minute remains. Kunix trying to set up again. Not finding anything that time. Biscuit off the back wall. Jake with a big clear down the middle of the field. But it is going to be kept in the offensive zone for the Spectre for now. The Spectre just putting on a very aggressive play. As we see a double demo happen on the field. Biscuit... Biscuit, one thing I want to shout out about Biscuit right now is he has done a fantastic job of clearing the field, of trying to opening up those alleys, whether by demoing someone or just physically bumping into them and putting that pressure on and opening up that alley for Maniac and Kunix. Kunix, of course, being the playmaker here, two assists for the two goals for Maniac right now. And as we come down to the clock, Rhinos need to get one more shot on Ned. The ball rolls right over the backboard. Biscuit's there to send it over, but this ball's in a dangerous position. Rhinos are a bit too far back to do anything about it. Jake gets bumped by Kunix. Biscuit bounces off the wall, gets another touch off of Alf, and Minitar er, sends it up into the air. Ball's still alive in this moment. Spectre need to bring it to ground as Rhinos are racing. Keep it in the corner, and the ball touches. Game two goes to the Spectre. Another very hard-fought match for the Spectre. They find themselves on series point, though now up two games to none. Two games to none, excuse me. But again, good passing plays from Kunix and Maniac are the difference maker right now. The Rhinos are going to have to find a way to shut that down going forward in this series. The physicality the Spectre is showing throughout this entire these last two matches have been the difference maker in how they make their goals and how they're able to carry this charge. Rhinos need to pull together, anticipate the bumps, anticipate the demos, and be there for each other, be able to cover for each other if someone gets knocked out of the way, or at least to take control of the ball so Spectre don't have all this time in the world to take possession. Yeah, possession is going to be a big thing too. I mean, we're seeing a lot of good play coming through from the Spectre, but the Rhinos are doing a very good job of, of applying that pressure back to the Spectre. They did get a goal of their own, largely because they put that pressure on the back lines. You know, Maniac had to try to make a last ditch save, trying to play it off their post in a way, but you know, the rebound helped out for the Rhinos. It gave, gave them a shot opportunity. And as we go to Sovereign Heights for game number three, they're going to have to be looking for something a little bit more physical, I think, on their half as well. Trying to get some more demos onto the Spectre's back line as they try to get shots on target. So we'll see if they can make those adjustments. They're going to have their backs against the wall the remainder of the series. Sovereign Heights, one of my favorite maps now since it's come out. Absolutely gorgeous map. 
Five minutes on the clock. Game three, match point for the Spectre here. Alf is already up in the air. Maniac knocks it away immediately. Biscuit gets a great pinch right towards the center of the field. Alf is having to jump backwards. Maniac sends it up. Ball is coming off the backboard and almost has a perfect shot opportunity, but just barely misses it. Ball's off to the side as Kunix chases after it. Biscuit looks for a shot of his own, but Alf is there to get the save, and Maniac sends it right back. Is this going to be another game where we just see the Rhinos on their back foot the entire time? Ball's popped up towards the middle. Biscuit tries to pop up. No one's back at net, but Maniac is not able to get it on target. Jake sending it away into that corner. Yeah, but dangerously as well, going in front of their own net to do so. You know, I, I one thing I will comment on, though, is a booming clear coming back. That's on target save. That was a close one, but I was going to say a good job by the Rhinos of avoiding the Devils. Oh, that was a golden opportunity there. Maniac can't find the mark on that shot either. Oh, man, the Spectre. They had opportun they've had opportunities so far, but they have not found the mark yet. Maniac just feeling a little, maybe a little bit too excited, a little bit too ready for quarterfinals and thinks this game in the bag just needs to finish this game out personally i shots almost on target maniac tries to put it back in but bounces off the post biscuit sends it up maniac knocks it up in the air off the side as kunix tries to get a touch barely misses it awkward landing as biscuit puts it back in the corner this ball's right into a good position it gets pinched out by maniac and one of the rhinos mini tour sends it over to jake jake follows it in the air but it's knocked away by Biscuit. Maniac now has another shot opportunity. Maybe a double tap here. No, does not get that chance as it gets sent away. But Alf gets another save before Koenigs get a dunk home. Spectre just keeping this pressure up the entire time, though. I feel like the Rhinos haven't had a chance to put a good offensive push on the board at the moment. Yeah, they've just got the one shot on target right now, so they got to find something here. This is an opportunity. Alpha Omega going to the backboard. Far, far off of that backboard though and it's going to go away back the other way to the rhinos half and the shot going to be saved there by minator and it's going to be up in the air as maniac plays it on the corner demos ringing th through from the specter as kunix gets another one good save there coming through from biscuit biscuit's going to pop that one up to the midfield line sending it upfield for kunix who cannot find it but it's going to be enough maniac's got the ball going for the 50 it's going to be saved by jake and the bounce back in is going to be for not as there's no specter in the area I again the Rhinos finally putting that physicality to work. Mini Mini Tur getting a demo on Kunix, the playmaker. And now we got a 50 off of Kunix as well. The ball is right in front of the net. Kunix is able to pop it up. This is still a dangerous position. Rhinos have almost enough time to recover there. Biscuit sends it up the field and Mini sends it right back into that corner, trying to get some boost in the meantime. Sets it up, pops it in the air, trying to get a passing out to one of the Rhinos. Jake is up in the air with it, but Maniac sends it right back in. We're seeing a lot of very different Rhinos team at the moment. They do not want to go quietly into the night. They do not want to be haunted by the Spectre's win. And they're trying to find anything they can. Jake's going to get a demo. That's a free net shot. Going to be there. It's going to be a double touch off of the <laughs> Spectre. But Alpha Mega going to get the Rhinos on the board. The again, it's the physicality in the game. Demos are a game mechanic. Use it. And the Rhino's showing that and getting the lead for the first time in the series. As Alf takes that kickoff, booms it all the way back to the Spectre side. Kunix is up in the air. And he sends it right back down, but Maniac pops it right back over, is chasing after it as the ball comes off the side. This could be a shot off chain, bounces off the backboard. Biscuit might have a chance. No, sort sails right underneath it as Maniac takes his time. Jake gets a demo on Kunix, is not a defender. RNG, Kunix and Biscuit almost bumping into each other there. Ball's right back on target. Spectre able to get a save and send it over into the side. Yeah, that was a great save there for Maniac. The upfield pass on target for Maniac, intercepted by Alpha Omega. That's going to be another opportunity for the Rhinos. Now giving away possession a little bit as Maniac plays it away. They're going to have another shot opportunity going to the backboard. Looking for the double tap. Can they find it? No. Kunix keeps the pressure on. In comes Biscuit. Oh, off the crossbar and away. Maniac going to keep it in the offensive zone for the Spectre, though. As the Rhinos play it into their corner, there's Kunix. Trying to pass this one out or get a 50. It's going to be a 50 straight up to the ceiling. Off that back wall again. Not going to find a shot. This time is Biscuit. Maniac keeps the pressure. It's in the 
Rhino's half, and it's deep in there. It's been there for a while. Biscuit has a chance. It's a soft shot. Is it going to find the mark? No, Jake scrapes that one away <laughs> off the goal line. The ball's right down the middle at the moment. Rhino's showing a great just defensive mindset at the moment playing off the specter biscuit has to pop this up in the air and alf sees the opportunity dunks it down into the middle of the field two how, to one <laughs> how many chances did the specter have there late in the game i mean it was just they were deep in the rhino's half for i don't know 30 seconds it felt like i mean they just kept the pressure on but the rhino's rotation stood the tank that stood tall to the task of shutting down that specter offense but man oh man they were just pepper in that net zero out 11 shots is still zero and rhinos just needed that one goal to stay in that lead and they they got it they one thing i need to shout out is the field awareness Kunitz is trying to bump out the last defender and the rhinos were still able to get in position because Spectre weren't able to get the demos that they usually need to score. Rhinos took their strategy and threw it right back at them and got that one goal they needed for the game. Six saves between all the Rhinos, two each, and they only put three shots on net. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah, that's all they needed. Like you said, they did what they needed to do and they capitalized on a mistake. That's all that it came down to. It's the same story that the Spectre had in game number one, capitalizing on a mistake. So now, Rhinos are back in it. They still have a long road to go. They got to take this one game at a time, going to game number four here at Utopia Coliseum. So big thing I would love to see, I think the, if the Spectre want to keep this game and keep the series and go face off the Dodgers in quarterfinals, they need to get those demos. They need to clear out the field a little bit better, and they need to be aware of the, and the way that I told the Rhinos last game, the Spectre need to be aware of demos now because Rhinos are putting it right back on them. Koenig's taking the ball up the wall, right into the center. This is a great pass towards Biscuit. Ball pops up. This is a, another chance here. Tries to fake out Jake, but Jake stays on the ground as another Rhinos player comes in and clears it out. Biscuit tries to get some gravy in it and tries to put it on net and misses just enough. Koenig gets a 50, keeps it in that corner, trying to keep the Spectre pressure going here. Ball is towards the net here. Alf just barely gets a save, but that ball's still going in anyways. Cannot get the clear, and Kunix takes advantage. Yeah, great awareness here from Kunix as well. Grabs the boost, realizes this one's going to be in a perfect spot for them to take a shot, and they do so to the perfect extent, right out of the outstretch reach of the Rhino defense, and it is going to be the lead to the Spectre here early on. The ball heading up the wall is Jake. Looks for a pass out to either Mini or Alf, but sends it a little bit too far as Biscuit gets another pass off. Koenig sending it into the corner with that 50 with Mini to Miniter. Maniac up in the air. It's trying to set up a bounce play here, maybe. A tra passing play. Wow, words. Koenig staying back. Alf booms it out towards the corner. The ball's in front of the net, though. Bounces off the crossbar. Biscuit's able to get that clear. Maniac getting that demo on the striker. The ball's heading out towards the middle of the field right now. And Maniac gets a 50 with Jake or Mini, I think. Ball's bouncing up towards the field. Jake has a flick opportunity, bounces it right under one. Maniac gets that save, though. Ball's heading right back towards that backboard. But no one's able to capitalize on that shot. Yeah, Alpha Omega's going to take possession there. It's going to be a drop down for the Rhinos. Maniac going to make that save. Here comes the attack once again, looking physical as well, was Jake in the back lines of the Spectre defense. Nothing doing, though. They find themselves on the back foot again. Here's another shot attempt that's going to be just wide. Biscuit bangs that one off the corner. It's going to be a good, powerful shot. That one might just be in. It is! Alpha Omega ties this game. <laughs> Alpha Omega sees an opportunity there, gets it right past Maniac. Maniac just pulling up a bit too close to the ball and cannot react. And... Alf just sends it home right into the net, tying up this game one to one. I don't know if uh, if they were ready for that strong of a shot coming in from the Rhinos, but you know, Rhinos are pretty strong, I would say. You know, probably one of the more strong mammals we have on Earth, but it is going to be Biscuit going to the backboard. Big clear back downfield. The outlet is there as well. Jake is on there. Oh, that was a shot so, to be had. And it's it's going to find the market. It's still there. Oh, what a save from Kunix. 
both still in front of the net. The Spectre need to clear it out. Trying to avoid this Rhino's charge and Biscuit gets it up towards the backboard. Alf sends it off and gets a clear. Jake helping out there. Maniac has a chance to flick over. Gets it home over Mini after getting the demo. What a flick. Good pop coming out for Maniac. Just able to beat Min Minotaur. And it's going to be a really good lead back to the Spectre at the halfway point of game number four. I'm, I'm really expecting a shooting gallery at this point. We're halfway through the match. We have three goals on, uh, between both teams at the moment. Spectre taking the lead. Kune's getting a demo. Was hunting for another one. I saw him in the backfield there. Rhino's taking this chance to charge, though. Jake needing a little bit more boost to keep that momentum going. And Minitur sends it up towards Maniac. Maniac gets demoed. Alf sends it off the wall, but cannot get around Biscuit. Biscuit sending it right back as Kunix sends it up the field, up towards Biscuit. Tries to get a touch and just barely misses it. Jake pops it right back over, sending it up towards the field. And it takes control. Trying to get a passing play going. Biscuit's able to receive and send it over. But the bread is in the oven. Kunix getting the goal. Man, Biscuit just buttered him right there. Great <laughs> pass coming into the middle. Kunix able to capitalize. A lot of pace on the pass and a lot of pace on the shot. And it is going to be a two-goal advantage now for the Spectre. The Rhinos, they are going to have to push very hard now to get back in this game and keep themselves alive in the series. God, it is match point. And you would think with my years in food service, I would have more like bread puns or something. And I cannot think of a single one when I'm on a, a microphone. Jake taking this pat shot, gets a 50 off a of Biscuit. Biscuit sends it all the way over to the Rhino side. Alf pinches it right back up towards the middle. Needs a little bit of boost. Tries to get under Biscuit, gets a 50. Shots on target. Jake jumping up in the air, gets the last moment save. But Maniac might be able to set up a passing play here. It sets it out towards Biscuit, gets it right behind him. Spectre in a great position here. Just need to defend the goal and keep that pressure going and try to keep the Rhinos from getting another ch scoring charge going. Yeah, definitely just have to clock it here at this point. Try to milk it as long as you can. It's going to be a good job for Maniac slowing that, bl that play down. Keeping it close to themselves. It's going to be a good ball off the back while Kunix leaves that one for Biscuit. Now Kunix looking for a demo, looking for another goal. Are the Spectre, but nothing doing there. Maniac keeping that pressure on. And it's going to be a clear coming out from the Rhinos. It's going to be a pass from Alpha Omega to themselves, actually. I think it might have been an outlet pass to be had there, but challenge on the back wall from Maniac is going to be shutting down the attack of the Rhinos. Jake hits it twice off that wall, but again, clear comes out. 20 seconds left. The Rhinos are going to have to find something quickly. Not a lot of time here. Jake gets a flick and tries to pop it up in the air, tries to get it safe, but Biscuit's going to take advantage. Great pass out from Kunix, bouncing off the post and sending it over to Biscuit. Yeah, and that's going to be the nail in the coffin for this game number four and this series. Biscuit just going to ice them now with that great shot underneath that crossbar. And 12 seconds, it's still mathematically possible to happen. But, man, the way the Spectre have played all series, it has been a very good show from them. And they are very happy walking into the quarterfinals. And with that, next weekend, they will be facing off in the quarterfinals against the ML Dodgers, uh, which I believe they have not faced yet at all. So it's going to be a very fresh matchup. And we might see this lineup again against the Dodgers. They work fantastic together. Uh, great work from the Spectres. Rhinos, close work, hard fought. Good try. <laughs> yeah. And, and hey, you said in chat, people were saying for, uh, for the uh, game four victory for the Spectre. So that 3-1 Hey, some people were right on the money with that one. We were thinking a five-game series, and really, up until that last game where the Rhinos had to throw caution to the wind, every game was a one-goal game. We had the one-nil in favor of the Spectre, the two-one, then the one-nil back the other way going into that last game. So a very well-rounded series from these two teams and nothing to, nothing to be upset about as far as the showing that was there for the Rhinos. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see... Uh, don't go away. We have more games coming up next as well. Cannot remember what the next one is, if I'm honest. Well, the next one, we're going to go down to the Academy League for some more standard. It's going to be the Shadow and the Dodgers. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some more Rocket League.